what up ck gang how y'all doing so we're jumping like straight into this tutorial guys um this is going to be a passion twist tutorial and guys i received this hair from toyo trust all their information will be down below um guys this section i sped it up just a bit it's like just me parting the hair i legit did all the parting off camera because it's kind of like hard to see in like the little mirror that I have so yeah I'm literally just parting the hair and I'm using style factors edge booster like on the part just so that you can get like clearer parts so that's how I'm doing the parting and guys be sure to start on freshly washed hair this is a protective style and if you're definitely intent on keeping it for a while like you definitely need to wash your hair because if it's dirty here like it won't like give you like the same results and your hair gonna start scratching you like real quick and you're gonna have to take it out anyways i'm just like brushing the sections like into you know brushing them together and then i'm putting on the rubber bands and that's literally it and i'm just gonna keep parting until i'm done and guys i know y'all are gonna want to ask me like what like how many sections are on my hair i think for the back i did the back with a 17 um sections because i parted it in half and then i did the back and then i parted in a quarter i did the other quarter and then the other quarter but um i think i have 17 pieces in the back and i went ahead and did the hair off camera i think this is their 1b30 i'll leave that in the description bar down below and that's what comes with it you get like some rubber bands you get a um edge comb you get some clips that you can add on and you also get a crochet needle you could always crochet the hair in but that's not what i did i'm just using the rubber band method and i will not be like putting the hair in between before i start and yeah guys i'm sure showing you the parting so i have two sections and three then another three then um four so i think all together I had 12 on this side and 12 on the other side because I did everything evenly. So in total, um, I have how many braids? Uh, I'll put that right there because that took me a minute. In total, I think I have 41 or 42. I'm going to put that right there. I might be wrong. But yeah, guys, I'm coating the hair right now with the Style Factor Edge Booster as well as... No, they're hair pomade that's what i'm using as well as i'm using the male organics like twisting cream the two their um twist out cream just to moisturize my hair and then i'm taking two strands so i use two strands on each individual twist and i'm just putting that together and then i'm adding it above my hair and then i'm using my hair as a third piece and i'm just going to start a braid and then i'm gonna braid it down a little like braid it down just a little just to like hold the hair in and then afterwards i'm going to start twisting to conceal my hair i wrap my hair with the um crochet hair and then i'm going to just like twist it together and try and conceal my hair as best as possible and i use a lot of the um the twisting cream just on my hair just to like soften it and to help it like adhere basically to the hair and yeah i'm just gonna twist out until i get to the end and guys be like the most detailed part is where your hair ends be sure to like do that section like a little bit like tight like in terms of the way how you're twisting it try and do that top section more like tightly <laughs> wrapped together i don't know if i'm explaining it right but for that part so your hair doesn't like stick out that's what i do and then i just continue in like just like a regular twist all the way down usually like for passion twists i'll do like twist twist pull twist twist pull but i didn't really do that for this hair i pulled the hair up in some sections in other sections i didn't and I did notice that this hair was a little bit dry and I feel like it's because it's colored. That's why it's a little bit dry. So I had to go in with a lot of like twisting product just to like give it some moisture. The best thing that I would use when doing a style like this is the Shine and Jam. But I didn't have any so I had to use what I have. And guys for the section of my hair that's like a little bit thicker because y'all know my hair is thick. This 4C yeah i blowed my hair out before as well and yeah for the sections that is a little bit thicker once i do the braiding portion 
from the root once I start to get into that twist I would separate my hair into two pieces just to get it to like not pop out and look bulky I don't know if I explain it right but guys you just like see what I'm doing just keep on watching So we're doing like the same step again. I put my hair as the third strand and we're just going to go in and make a braid. I don't even know to say how far I make the braid. I literally just braid it a little bit until I feel like it's secured. And then I start twisting and then I twist all the way to the end. The Ice Passion Twist I think is a really easy style. I feel like it's kind of foolproof. It's not like a rope twist or any of those um like twists that you have to like really like roll the hair to ensure that they look a certain way passion twist is like a freestyle and i feel like the messier it gets or like the older it gets the better it looks so the twist you literally just take the hair and then just like move it around and around and around if that makes any sense it's pretty simple and i feel like if you want to get passion twists done you can definitely like do it at home you don't need to like go anywhere to like actually get it done because it's not that hard and even if you're like not very good at like braiding you don't have to braid it from the root you could always just take the braid and start off with a twist and if you can't grip your own hair you can definitely just like put the braiding here in between the um between your natural hair and then put the rubber band around it so it's already secured at the base and then you can start twisting but yeah this is the method that I use. There are different ways that you can do the passion twist style, but this is the method that I use. And I'm just going to continue doing that. And it's basically like repetitive. So I'll show you some more how I get it done. So just like keep on watching so you can like learn. A lot of people are better like, are like visual learners versus me explaining. So I'm going to stop explaining now. I'm going to have you watch the rest of um, the install.
And we're finally at the last twist. I was glad to be done. Guys, I know the video might be a little bit lengthy, but I wanted to show you me doing like several like twists so you could really get into how I did it. So for the last one, I'm gonna show you again. You're gonna take the hair and you're gonna crisscross it and you're gonna make sure that it's even. Then you're gonna go in and put the braiding and put the passion twist hair over your hair. Use your hair as a third strand and then you're just gonna create a braid and you're gonna go down maybe like one to two inches and then you're gonna twist the hair with the passion twist here and then you're just going to go in and start twisting and you can add whatever product you use you don't have to use the ones that i use but you can add whatever jam whatever gel that you use to like smooth your hair as well as to keep your hair in the the twist and not have it sticking out and then you're just going to twist all the way down to the ends like it's pretty simple guys and it's pretty straightforward the hardest part is the parting and if you can't part your own hair i suggest you just ask a friend for help to do the parting for you because the parting is kind of tricky and even if you can't get it like as neat as how i got my parting you could always do like free parting it doesn't have to like be super like matchy and neat it's passion twist it's like a boho kind of looking vibe so you don't have to be um perfect with your parting and guys i'm just going in with some oil because my hair was really dry when i was done like my scalp needed that moisture it felt so good to have this moisture on my scalp and my hair just like drank everything up and I'm going to go in afterwards, after oiling the scalp, I'm going to go in with some hair mousse. And that's pretty much about it in terms of this style, in terms of putting it in. And then I'm going to go in and just like clip any little ends that I didn't like. At first, guys, I wanted to do a bob, but I thought the hair was going to be shorter because this is a 18 inch. But it really wasn't like extremely short, so I kept it at this length. Let me know down below guys like if you've done your own passion twist before let me know if you've tried like this rubber band method let me know if this is something like new for you or i taught you something like let me know if this video was helpful if you would like to see like more videos like these then definitely leave that down in the description bar Okay guys, so we've come to the end of the video. Be sure to leave me a like, be sure to leave me a comment, and most importantly, be sure to subscribe. Like, this hair is like really amazing. I have nothing bad to say. Passion twists are definitely a go-to. Like, it's a bomb ass protective style. It's very versatile. Like, I tried doing like a different style to show y'all. So I did a half up, half down. You can like do a high ponytail or whatever. Like, you can do like many different things with this style. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys in my next one. I love you guys both so much. Bye.